everybody here, uh, but I just wanted to come out and speak a little bit because uh, I've been touched in a lot of ways by, you know, being a student, having to leave school because I couldn't afford it because of rising tuition costs, and uh, now as a working person, struggling out there, young and unemployment for young people is almost 25%, uh, and in some communities of color it's even you know, higher than that. It's just egregiously outrageous. And I think we've seen a, a transition in our lifetime uh, as kids growing up in the 90s that this election cycle, you know, the Republican agenda these last few years has gone and shifted into an all-out assault on all shades of people, uh, especially oppressed nationalities. Immigrants in this country are under full-scale assault, yeah. and specifically spearheaded by the Republican Party. Uh, we've seen an increase in blatant racist language, you know. This case with Trayvon Martin, the shootings in Tulsa, a, a flat-out lynching in Mississippi that happened that hasn't been investigated. This is systematic of the agenda that the Republicans are pushing. This is bald-faced racism. And somebody said earlier, fascism with American characteristics. And, you know, this is an effort for them to divide all the people of the 99% so that they can win greater shares and plunder for corporations. I know a little bit of something about that. Every day, you know, going into work, it's the same thing, and it's a full-scale assault on unions, and the only thing that's protecting working people and fighting for a decent living so we can get housing, so we can afford cars, and we can afford to send our kids to school and enjoy the life that we make possible by working every day. And that's why I'm going out on August. That's why I'm going to be organizing my co-workers, uh, students on campus, and I'm going to be going and reaching out to different groups around the community and around the state that I know, because I feel that it's imperative that we build a grassroots movement of all these organizations, that we start uniting people and building our own political power so that we can actually have a say, that we can defeat this agenda that the Republicans are putting out, a bald-faced racism, uh, a bald-faced exploitation of working people, that we can say, no, we want an economy ran by the 99% by average people. We want a country run by average people. We want good jobs. We want health care for everybody. We want affordable education. We want equality for people of all races. And we want peace, most importantly. Peace for working class people. Peace for the people of the world. No more assault and no more murder with the money that should be going to education and funding jobs. Your entire future, trillions of dollars, the Republicans want to spend it to kill and capture resources when it should be spent to build. It should be spent to train people and put millions of people back to work in this country. That's what we need. Yeah. That's the rest of the And it's going to take everybody here. You know, we got a lot of unions. We got a lot of community groups. We got the largest anti-war coalition in the nation that's going to be marching in August. You know, a lot of the organizers right now are coming from the youth. A lot of these people are going to show up in August. But we need every one of you to step up and go out and organize and start building around here in Florida. And across the country, we have members of SDS and uh, young union members uh, going out and organizing. So take that charge, and we'll see you back here in August.